Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Planet Crafter. Well, um, there's been an update and it's called a small update, but I think it's pretty big. Uh, it's a follow on from the last video that I did, but with quite a lot more. So uh, lots to discuss. Let's get stuck in. Right, the first thing we're going to look at is a world change. So something happens at some point not sure exactly when, once a certain terraformation level has been reached, there will be a breach between the starting location and the waterfall location. Now that's pretty big. Let's go check it out. So what it looks like here is uh, this really big tree grew and it just broke a whole bunch of rock out. And how amazing is this? This really, really cuts the travel time between the north and the south of the map immensely absolutely amazing well i've got so many trees here probably not going to be able to see much but there we go look at that and that's what it looks like from this side that's pretty big all right other than a whole bunch of bug fixes uh there have been quite a few changes with the procedural wrecks and the portal but it seems like there are a whole bunch of new uh, blueprints. Uh, one of them is available from here, and it is a fountain. Look at that. 20,000. Ah, oh, I'm a little short. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. But yeah, we, we have a, a fountain now. Uh, that's not all. There are a whole bunch in the procedural wrecks as well. So what we'll be looking for in the procedural wrecks would be a light box, a fireplace, a tree planter, two new frog eggs, two new tree seeds, a new recipe to craft solar quartz. So yeah, that's that's pretty big. All right, let's go and see. Let's let's go and have a look. Also, they've brought down the complexity of the wrecks. Uh, they've removed the timer as well. That, that was uh, pretty big. So let's scan and see what we've got. So the timer has been removed, but not necessarily forever. Uh, or it may be available in the uh, more hardcore play modes. They've also increased the loot in the wrecks. Right. Uh, yeah, okay, so we, we've got, we can definitely go with that one. I think we got the Magnetar. I don't think I have the Quasar. I don't have the green one. I think I might have the Belzar. Let's just have a look in my inventory. Yeah, I've got the Belzar. So, uh, we don't really have a choice, or we could rescan, I suppose, but... Are we rescanning? No, we're not. Good, okay, so let's... Uh, it's, rarity is one, difficulty is five. Not sure if that means much, but yeah, let's go. Oh my, that is pretty cool. And uh, this has just thrown us into something completely different. Little waterfalls as well. Amazing. All right, we're going to have to find the wreck. I think that might be a wreck up there. Not sure. We'll head over there and have a look. Ah, there we go. So we are in. It seems like we can pick up the service in here. Ah, need my torch. Right, let's go exploring. Okay, our first chest. We've got some tokens. Got a flare. Don't really need the other stuff. Uh, that's that goes down. Uh, let's have a look if there's anything else. Oh, another one. There we go. Quasar. Uh, light box. There we go. Got the light box. Let's get those sorted out. Okay, so the light box is a blueprint, which we will have to go and unlock. Another one. Oh, I think I'm going to be able to afford that fountain. More quasar. And we can go downstairs and keep looking. Finding quite a lot of stuff here. I don't know if I'm missing anything important. Because I am kind of zipping through. There's no, no time limit here anymore. Just got to make sure that you've brought enough water and food. I think I did bring water and food. Oh, there we go. Another one. Oh, magnetar quartz. And another flare. I'll take that. Okay, just a little room. All right, places to break through as well. Okay, this, this has become quite complex. I am about three levels deep now. Oh, energy multiplier fuse. I'll take that. A lot of passages, a lot of dead ends. All right, I think I got everything out of here. So we'll head up. I can find my way up. All right, and I'm out. 
Very nice indeed. Okay, so that, that was pretty cool. I'm going to fly around and see if I can find anything else in this area. Just because, wow, it does look pretty spectacular. Okay, somebody did say that if you click on your um, on your map, if you have your map enabled, which I think I do, uh, map chip, yeah, there it is, and you click on that, no, it doesn't, it doesn't give you the location of the, the portal. You have to kind of figure that out on your own. Oh, huh, there's lava here too. I wonder if they have special lava here. All right, well, found the portal, and through we go. All right, uh, I do believe I have enough now. Oh, I, I picked up quite a few. So let's get that fountain. We'll order one, uh, launch that. Okay, good, that's sorted. So then we need to go to our console and get the light box sorted as well. Decode microchip, light box. Right, let's see what it does. Okay, so we need a solar quartz sil and uh, silicon and silicon. Okay, solar quartz. Ooh, we got a fireplace. Oh, wow. Hold on, I need to build a fire. Hang on, what, what does it need? Tree bark, explosive, and iron. I can do that. I have a spot for it as well. If it, uh, if it can go outside, which I assume it can. All right, fireplace and... Oh, that is sweet. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty amazing. Okay, there's a bit of a visual glitch there with it, with the water. But let's let's uh, ignore that. Okay, so that's that done. Oh, it's very cool. Huh. Okay, next. All right, so we don't have the solar quartzes yet. I presume we're going to have to find that in the wrecks. Uh, let me just check the patch notes. Yeah, the recipe is. In, it's it's actually a recipe, so you can make the solar quartz, but they are in the wrecks. So let's go and visit one more and see what's going on. Okay, so we're going to close the portal. Let's see. Do I have enough? I need... It seems like I'm short over here, and I just need one pulsar for this one. I could go to this one. Difficulty 5, rarity 2. I like the higher rarity. Okay, I went and fetched some stuff. Now, I do, do I have two... Magnetars and two Quasar. Yes, I do. All right. So that one's good. Let's get in. Open the portal. Woohoo! Oh, this is a different looking place. All right. A bit funky there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I see the wreck. So that that's pretty cool. There's no water here, and I I brought water with. But I'm already short, so uh, we won't spend too long here. All right, uh, torch on, and we go. All right, first chest. Lots of tokens. Ooh, flares. Oops. Oh, if you drop them, you drop them. You can't do anything with them after that. All right, well, I pushed the wrong button. There's a production multiplier fuse. We can change a color. Okay, so let's let's give it a nice. Let's see what orange looks like. Yeah, pretty nice. So if you drop them, you drop them. They uh, they can't be picked up again. All right, let's continue. Tokens. Pulsar. Fuse. Pulsar. There. I'm not picking up the other... Ah, wait, downstairs. I haven't picked up any of the other... Um, crystals yet but it'll happen i'm sure yeah cool picking up some some more stuff uh blueprint microchip yeah I, it's not a specific one it's just a general blueprint oh and here we go running into a safe that's pretty cool picked up a lot of stuff another microchip blueprint microchip Oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of safes in here. This is fantastic. I think I hit the mother load. And then the last one. 
There we go. There we have a new tree seed. Cecilia. That looks pretty spiffy. All right. Well, that's that's a big find. All right. So I'm going to try and find my way back now. There it is. Whew, I only just managed to find my way out. I need to get over to this portal very quickly. I'm running out of water. Oh my word. That was pretty close. All right. Uh, this this was a huge haul. Oh, wait, this is back. Uh, let's turn my torch off firstly. Um. Yeah, I, I've got a I've got a massive haul here. So I'm gonna have to go and put some of this stuff in storage before I can get the fountain. I figure while I'm inside, let me just test the blueprint microchips that I picked up. Uh, mining speed two. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. It's all the old stuff. For some reason, that's that's something odd. It might have something to do with my save. We have the fountain blue chip. And there we have it. So, uh, it needs a super alloy, zeolite, and iron. And just like that, I have everything I need. So, uh, let's put it down. Ooh, it's big. Okay, wait. Um, yeah, maybe not the best place for it. It doesn't go inside. I think I've got some space in front of my house. All right. Uh, so, here we go. Gee whiz, look at that. <laughs> That's a nice little decorative feature. Wow. All right, so I don't want to drag this episode out uh, longer than it needs to be. Just so that you know that there are a whole bunch of new things. I'm looking forward to testing out the new tree. See what that looks like. There is another new tree. There are two new frog eggs. And there's a new recipe as well. So it is expanding. But make sure that you take enough water and food with you when you go out. Because... Uh, yeah, I nearly didn't make it back. I was struggling to find my way out of that wreck. Anyway, that is where we are going to leave it. If you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think of this update. And of course, join the Discord, uh, the Planet Crafter Discord. It's a good place to get information if you're really interested in the game. Or you could just watch these videos and I'll keep producing. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for your time. And until next time, cheers.